Could we possibly have an announcement date for Spyro? Let's find out. What's up guys, Canadian Guy A here. So something interesting had popped up in my comment section that was very, very intriguing. Something that could blow the lid on the whole thing on the Spyro remaster. But you gotta take it with a large grain of salt. But stay with me with this video. This could be a big one, like the big one. But before we get into that, let's talk about something that is relatively, you know, more solid. The possible date when they announced the remaster of the Spyro trilogy. Over the past few months, I have covered many things about Spyro, evidence videos, pros and cons, and even a theory. So we are now winding down to when is this going to happen? We can't talk and talk and talk and talk about how great the remaster could or would be, but there needs to be one that brings it all together. We need an actual remaster. So some of us look forward to E3 2017. Did it come? No. But then Crash was released. The tiny possible code popped up along with the first four figures announcement of Crash and Spyro. Could it come to Gamescom? Was it possible that they could announce Spyro then? <gasps> no. So when? When could we see or hear of the remaster? Well, like I always said, and a rule of thumb with Spyro, Spyro normally follows in the path of Crash Bandicoot. So when Crash was announced officially, it was at Sony's E3 in 2016. No trailer for it, but just an announcement. Here's reaction to the crowd just announcing it. I'm proud to announce that we work with our partners at Activision. We're going to bring back the original Crash, Crash 2, and Crash Warped, fully remastered from the ground up for PlayStation 4. And for humor's sake, let's hear the reaction to the fact that Crash will be in Skylanders. Crash Bandicoot will also appear first, though, uh, on PlayStation 4 this October in Skylanders Imaginators. So let's have a look at that. I literally think two people clapped. The public was actually treated to the Crash Bandicoot trailer officially later that year, on December 3rd, 2016, at the PlayStation Experience. Then on June 30th, 2017, the game was released. So my prediction is that the announcement for the remaster will be at the PlayStation Experience 2017 on December 9th, and then the game will be released later in 2018. Now, if it follows the same timeline as Crash, they could simply place it in the month of September two months later and say, Hey, it's Spyro's 20th anniversary. This would line up with everything that we have talked about before. Now, before I talk about this big thing I have been hiding, I have a few things to say. First off, if all goes to plan, I will stream the PlayStation Experience live event with you guys on my channel on December 9th. This is not confirmed though because it's so long down the road, but if all comes to plan, I will stream it and we will watch it together. If they reveal Spyro, I will literally freak out and you will all get to hear my meltdown of excitement and then make fun of me after, okay? Okay, now the big kahuna, the big comment that I was talking about. Now remember, you have to take this with a grain of salt. Maybe grains or entire rocks of it. But it just seems, I can't describe it, almost too much out of the blue, I just, just here, let me read it to you. I unfortunately cannot give you any proof of this statement, so you will just have to believe me unconditionally, smiley face. Yes, they are doing the Spyro remasters, they have been developing them for about a year or so, and they plan to release the games on September 9th, 2018. So it's basically top secret, as the voice actors sign a contract that forces them not to reveal anything about their assignment to the public. I spoke to a certain person who works in the facial animation department and she says that sadly, none of the original voice actors will return for this game. Rene Arbogenois has been chosen to portray Moneybags and The Professor, Jess Harnell is Spyro, Laura Bailey is playing either Alora or Bianca, and they are planning to get Brad Garrett as the voice of Ripto, and they are, sadly, planning on having quite a few of Skylanders and Legend of Spyro references to appeal to the younger crowd. Okay, so first off, my reaction was kind of, well, weird. 
I didn't know what to think. Do I believe him or do I not? Because here's the thing. Being an editor, I have met people who have worked on and heard of projects that the public had not known about before and I was told to keep my lips closed. So is it possible that this person is correct? Maybe. Here's the thing. If there were any official source, like a news website, then they could get in trouble due to the fact that you sign a non-disclosure agreement, which in turn makes you keep your lips closed and you can't say a thing. This person claims that they have a friend or a source in the facial animation department for Spyro, which actually makes a lot of sense since they list off a bunch of voice actors. Because the facial animation team would work closely with the voice acting team because they are animating how the faces move to the characters. But again, there is no confirmed source. I decided to do an IMDB search of all the actors that were mentioned, and the one that stuck out to me was the voice that they chose for Spyro, Jess Harnell. This man actually did the voice for Crash Bandicoot in the recent remaster. Well, for the few lines that he actually had. Uh oh! But one thing that made me also raise an eyebrow was that he was the voice for Spyro in A Hero's Tale. Nasty Norb! Didn't I defeat that guy years ago? Huh. What are dark champs? No offense, I kinda hope his performance has improved. Performance opinions aside, Harnell has also been a part of almost every Ratchet and Clank game, which was the original developer of Spyro, and have been in many Skylander games as Blast Zone, Crash Bandicoot, and Flipwreck. Also, Ratchet and Clank is a PlayStation exclusive series. The original Spyro was as well. We can assume that Spyro will be locked to the PS4 for at least a year, but Harnell has a relationship with Sony and Activision, so I found that as interesting. But also to follow in line with the PlayStation and Activision relationship, Rene Arbergenois has also worked on Skylanders and the Uncharted series, and Laura Bailey is also in the Uncharted series and stars in Uncharted Lost Legacy and Skylanders as Persephone. And also Gina Brown more from Warcraft. So once again, there seems to be some correlation between Skylanders and PlayStation exclusive content. However, Brad Garrett is a little bit of a stretch for playing Ripto. Oh, who's Brad Garrett? Here, let me refresh your memory. Oh, it was going okay. And then Agent Garfield read me a letter about Crazy Robert and his lucky suit. Remember now? Yeah, bit of a stretch, don't you think? Having ripped those smash down the wall to Everyone Loves Raymond does not seem to ring well with me. Somebody just kill me! But two things that this guy's post lines up with that we have been talking about in my previous videos. One, there would be some sort of elements that pays homage to the other Spyro games, which I am hoping is collectible skins. And two, the release date being in September, which is the anniversary for Spyro. So what do you guys think? Do you think this comment is true or is it bullogna? Do you think it holds any water? I'm going to leave that to you. Comment below and let me know and don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.